What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Uh, I'm going to do a quick review on this. I actually think I said in the video this is $135. i am wrong. This was $215. This has free Wi-Fi updates. This is the Boscom. Very simple, very basic scan tool. Nothing too fancy. But yet, it's got a 7-inch screen, free lifetime Wi-Fi updates. And this is cable-driven, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you'll see in the video, I'll turn it on, and we're going to just do some quick overs. For a DIY and somebody who's just wanting to get basic codes, clearing DTCs and whatnot, I think this is a great scan tool, 215 bucks. I'll put a link in the description for this, but uh, let me shoot you into the video and get to actually looking at it because it's really pretty simple. This is a really basic tool. Nothing nothing over the, over the top with this. It's nice seven inch screen. A little bit nicer than just having that little code reader if you're wanting one. Good tool to pack with you. Uh, not a tech tool. This isn't a really advanced scan tool. Wouldn't be something you're not going to get a lot of data, like I say in the video. So, anyways, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Look at the video that's coming up here next. Stay with me. Stay with me now. Today... I'm gonna do a quick video on the Boscom scan tool. Uh, and so far, I'm kind of impressed for 140 bucks, 135 bucks, I think. CP! <laughs> Stop lying to those people out there, you ding dong. You fool, it's 215. This is. This is not a bad scan tool for DIY or somebody at entry level. This is a cabled OBE2 scan tool. Um, I'm on domestic, I'm on Asian. Hold on a second, let me switch it around. Hard to record when you're one-handed, but I'll see if I can do the best I can. So we can see here that we have American, Asian, uh, Chinese, and European. And I'm not going to get into every one of these, but I'm just going to give you the basic overview on this. You have your diagnostics, special functions. It does have an oil reset, an ABS bleed, SRS steering angle reset, uh, the EPB, and the throttle relearn, and the BMS battery module. Uh, set sensor reset. I don't know what the you can. I don't know what BMS stands for. To be honest with you, big man syndrome. Let's get small. Time to get small. Get your creatine. Get all your powder. Yeah, big man syndrome in the house. It's probably what it really stands for, but it's a battery module system. I guess is what it is. Uh, I think the big thing is if it would work on a BMW, but I don't have that available, so we can't look at that. So, nonetheless, let's uh, let's look at the settings quick. It's got an OBD2 uh, generation, and then it's got a settings. Let's just go into the settings. Uh, not too bad, really, for... Honestly, for the money, I, I can't complain here. Auto scan. Uh, not sure what any of this means. Not gonna go into that. This is gonna be a quick ba system Android. We have an update. Let's see what this does if it does Wi Fi. Uh, yes, it does do a, a Wi Fi update. So that is uh, definitely awesome. For $135, this is probably one of the better scan tools for a code reader. Um, generally speaking, I just had this question the other day. Now I am in a Sumeru. So we're going to go into the Sumeru and see. And these are one of the one. Uh, these are one of the deals that I uh, find to be a harder deal uh, to to really get into some of the modules, especially an older one. Um, but you see, it has a listing, like most scan tools do, of things that you can do with it. Does that mean that you can? Uh, let's for this, for instance, here. See if it connects the ECU. It'll probably say. That's okay to continue. And yeah, nothing. So some of these functions on some of these functions on here are these modules that it current claims that it has on here are obviously just dummy modules and they're not gonna give you uh, in an actual reading which or an actual ability to get into the module and look at that system. But this it does get into the transmission, which there was no codes in the transmission, so there's really nothing to see. As far as technical data, this isn't going to give you 
a lot of technical data. Once again, this is a code reader and uh, some reset abilities. And that's what this is. This is not, um, let's see here, system make, okay. So we'll go in here and check the engine control module and the transmission. So we'll go, well, we've already looked at the transmission. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no code, so it doesn't show anything. So basically what this is only gonna give me, I did not see a lot of data on this. So if you're looking for a scan tool to give you data, uh, this is not probably the best scan tool for you. This is more gonna be like your ABS bleeds or being able to do a few limited resets for $135. It does more than your basic code reader. Uh, whoops, I'm sitting here, you got a, yes, 2.5 single overhead cam. And then it has diagnostic codes. And then it's gonna give you temporary or memorized codes. And then here we see we have a cylinder one, two, and three, four misfire with cam positioning sensor and preparatory. Now let's go down here. Let's just go in here. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't have a code definition library neither. Let's see if we can get any data out of this. No, we're not gonna get any data out of this. So. That's basically the nuts and bolts of this thing is, is it's not a, uh, not a real heavy duty code reader. It is, however, just a good scan tool for doing basic code checks and some resets. That's all it is, it's $135 scan tool. Uh, would I buy the scan tool for this? Uh, absolutely, if I was just looking for, like, let's say I was out on a trip I needed to find, I wanted to take something with me to have with me in the car uh, to make sure if I had a code problem, I could fix it. This would be a good emergency tool to take with you in a car to have. Uh, is this a scan tool for a uh, technician? No, this is a basically a DIY and find the, find the code and then you get to do some research on your phone, do some Google search and uh, try to find some stuff, but you're not gonna get a lot of uh, module information and not gonna get a lot of PIDs data the whole nine yards. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, And if you have any questions about this uh, Let me know uh, in the comment box. There's really not much to say. I think I pretty much said it in the video though So I uh, covered most stuff uh, Nice scan tool overall. It's a nice scan tool comes in a nice case nothing too fancy So anyways guys like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching